All right, so welcome back to the channel. Now today, I'm gonna go over something I get a lot of questions about, and that's brisket trimming. I get so many questions asking me about the way that I trim brisket, and is this right, is that wrong, or whatever. So today, we're talking about brisket trimming right here on the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. Let's go. All right, so that's right, we're talking brisket trimming, guys, and let's start from the beginning of this. Let's go with the basics here. Now, what I've got here is a good, solid brisket cutting board, and this is made by Custom Cutting Boards R Us. Whenever you're gonna be trimming the brisket, you really wanna make sure that you have a good, stable surface to work on and a board that's the right size to accommodate the brisket that you're gonna be working with. So this brisket board does just that, so that's what I'm using. You don't have to order one or anything like that, guys. If you already have a board that's already set for trimming your brisket, then cool. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about, guys, are knives. Now, if you've got your own favorite knife that you like to use for trimming brisket, by all means, go for it. But I'm just sharing with you guys some of the knives that I like to use when I'm trimming brisket. The first one is just a, uh, it's a six inch boning knife, guys. This one is a great knife that uh, I've gotten from uh, Dow Strong. Uh, it's a really good, sharp knife for uh, trimming brisket. And you know what? It gets in there nice and personal and makes little, you know, cuts or whatever that you might need to do. And it just works really well for me. So I like this one. This one is the, uh, the Shogun series of uh, six inch boning knife from them. So the next one here I've got is a, also it's another Dow Strong knife, but this one is from the uh, Delta Wolf series. And this is a chef knife. Uh, I like using this. It feels really good in the hands. It's really light. Uh, and it's very sharp and makes great cuts and uh, has a big cutting area. So it works really well for uh, for uh, trimming up brisket for me. Uh, the next one here is I've got a, a, a nice butcher knife here. This one again is a Dow Strong Shogun Series knife. Uh, and it's just a great knife for uh, trimming brisket, slicing brisket, whatever you want to do, you can make it happen with this knife. So it's a very good, versatile knife. I really like using this one as well. Last up is going to be the slicing knife, guys. That's right. You can use your slicing knife for trimming brisket. It's not just for slicing brisket as the end product. You can absolutely use it for trimming brisket. So this again is my uh, slicing knife here, and this is a Dow Strong, and this is from the Shogun series as well. Uh, really great knife for slicing. You know, obviously you can see it's got a large area of cutting surface, so you can cut right down the backside of a brisket to get that silver skin and fat or whatever. And so again, it's just a good knife. So again, guys, you don't have to get yourselves Dow Strong knives, but if you do, uh, look down in the uh, description box below. I'll have a link down there. You can get yourself a 10% discount on Dow Strong products. But uh, hey, let's get on to the next step. You've got everything you need, right? You got your cutting board, you got your knives, you're all set, you're ready to go. So what's the next step? Well, all right, we're gonna get started here. So as you can see here, we've got us a nice brisket here. This one is a uh, choice cut brisket I got from my local HEB. Uh, and they typically always have some really good briskets there. So uh, I think this is gonna work out well for us. So what we're gonna do is we just kind of look at this thing and kind of get an idea of how we're gonna trim this out. And uh, we can see our fat kernel here. And that's gonna be my entry point for this uh, packaging in the cryovac bag. So what I typically like to do is I like to take my knife and I like to run it right on that, uh, that fat cap there on that kernel and just basically make a little cut right there. I can grab the bag now and I can cut this bag open without leaving a bunch of juices everywhere. So we're gonna just cut this open get this brisket out of the bag. All right, so we've got our brisket out of the bag. And again, we're getting a good look at this brisket to see what we've got here. And we can see we've got a really good kernel of fat here. Now, when I'm looking at my brisket like this, when I first pull it out of the cryovac bag, I'm just developing a game plan. How am I gonna shape this up? Uh, given what I've gotten from the butcher, uh, if there's any imperfections that I might have to work around, 
And so we kind of flip this brisket over and look at all sides. And this one looks like a really good honking uh, brisket here. And I think we're gonna do okay with it. Now, for best results, guys, you always wanna have that brisket nice and cold. Uh, you can put it, pop it in your freezer for, you know, 30, 40, 45 minutes or so, and just get it firm. You don't want it rock hard, but you want it to be kind of firm. That just makes it a lot easier. Is it absolutely necessary? Not at all, but it does make it a little easier. So what we're gonna do, what I typically do, is I'll start with getting this, uh, this kernel out of here. And I'm gonna take my, uh, my butcher knife here, and I'll turn this brisket around so it's facing you guys, you can kind of see this. And I'm just kind of pulling on it, seeing exactly how much is sticking up there. And I'm just gonna take my knife, tip down towards the board, and I'm just cutting right along there to get this fat right off of this brisket. Just like that, we're, we're taking this off. Now it's always important guys, uh, when you're trimming your briskets, always have a vessel to the side ready to go to collect all of your trimmings in. We're not throwing this stuff away. We'll use it later to make tallow or sausage or carne asada or whatever we wanna do. So don't worry about how much we're trimming off because we're gonna use it all, okay? Now, we've got this off here and we can see we still got a lot there so we can still just kinda keep working our way into getting some more of this off of here. So that's what we're gonna do. You can kind of see just how much fat there is exposed when you got that off of here. So right around that point side, we've got a lot of fat cap there to deal with. So we're gonna start getting some of that off. Again, you can see just how much fat is involved there, guys. So turn this a little bit more towards you and we'll just keep working this off. This brisket has a lot of fat on it. Now, some would say that that's a waste to have that much fat. For a person like me that I like to make sausage and things of that nature, ugh, man, this is a gold mine, really, because I know I'm gonna be using it for other things. So I don't mind taking this off of here and using it. And we're just gonna keep slicing this off of here. And that's some really good fat on this brisket. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to this in a minute, but I'm looking more at this uh, flat side here and I'm seeing, you know, the fat that's here and the silver skin fat that's here. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna run it kind of parallel to the surface of this brisket and just run it right along here and take some of this off just to kind of smooth out the brisket, make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Now, if you get to where you have like little valleys and everything here, and it's kind of hard to get to, you just kind of put your hand underneath that brisket and you can kind of move your knife along and get some of this stuff off of here. Now, one thing about this trimming job that we're doing, guys, is we are not doing a uh, competition trim. This is just strictly for the backyard, guys. So, uh, again, don't worry about how much we're taking off or, oh, it's got to look this certain way. Nonsense, man. This is your brisket. You cut it the way you want to cut it. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take off this side here and I'm just it just gives me a good clean edge to work with. And once you get that off of there, you can see just how much fat you're dealing with. And look at that, that's a pretty good fat cap that's on this brisket. Turn this over here so I can kind of see this fat cap. And basically, I am gonna be cutting off a lot of this fat cap here, guys. So, I'm just gonna kinda come here because I see just how much fat is on here. Now you don't have to take this all in one stage, guys. You can just kinda take your time and work your way through it. And you just wanna, basically you wanna take off the fat you're not gonna eat, okay? You know, people say, oh, it's gotta be a quarter of an inch, it's gotta be an eighth of an inch. It's basically whatever you don't wanna eat, take it off, guys. That's how I kinda approach it. 
Now, one thing that happens every now and then is you get a shiner, you know? I just got a little shiner right there. Is it the end of the world? No, it's really not. It's not that big a deal. It happens. Okay, so now we've got this big hump right here, you know? And you can call it just fat or you can call it a mohawk or you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it what it is. It's a piece we gotta take off. When this is sticking up like this, guys, on a brisket, on the pit, for that, you know, a long of, of time, it's just gonna burn up and get crispy on you. So we're gonna take it off. And what I typically do is, again, I've got the, the formation of my brisket here, and I'm gonna stay with it. And basically what that means is I'm gonna lay this knife right on that, you know, uh, the foundation of this brisket, or right across the fat cap on the flat. I'm gonna pick this up, and we're just gonna take it right off. Again, this helps your brisket to have a good uni uniform uh, shape and it makes it nice and aerodynamic when it goes on the pit. So we've got that there. Now we've got this little tip here on the point. So we're going to go ahead and round this tip off here. Take that off. And you see me rubbing the brisket and that just kind of smooths things out. Um, you know, if there's anything that's kind of still straggling along there, you can kind of see it. But it helps you to kind of smooth things out, know what you might still need to cut or what's good. So I'm going to turn this around so I can kind of see this side. And I see this uh, good amount of fat there that I want to take off. So I'm going to kind of take that off there. All right, guys. So now we've pretty much taken the fat off of here that we really want to take off. And now I'm gonna adjust the flat. So I'm looking at the flat and you can kind of see, turn this towards you guys so you can kind of see this a little better, but you kind of see that it's, it looks like a foot, right? <laughs> the overall shape of this brisket kind of looks like a foot. Well, you kind of have these angles here that you kind of don't want. You want to round them off. So what I do is I just come here with my knife and I kind of envision just like that. And so now I've got a little line here, a little score line that I can kind of go off of. And that's what I'm going to cut off here. Okay. So we're just going to get this cut off. All right, guys. So, hey, we just got this brisket trimmed. Now you can see just how much we took off of this brisket. We took quite a bit off of this brisket, but again, we're not wasting it. We're going to make some sausage out of it. We're going to make some burgers out of it, whatever we decide to do. Uh, but as you can see, this brisket had a lot of good fat on it. And I mean, think about it, guys, you're, you're not going to eat this anyway. So why cook it? Right? So yeah, it looks like we took a lot off, but a lot of it was fat and we've gotten down to our meat. Now we've got a nice little thin fat cap on the top of it. We got most of that fat and silver skin off the bottom of it. And so when, once we get our rub applied to this, it's gonna have a good chance to penetrate and get into that meat and give us a great flavor. So this is how I trim my briskets, guys. Again, it's not a competition trim. It's just a backyard trim. Have the fellas over and make some brisket, you know, sandwiches or whatever for the game or whatever it is you might wanna do. So. Uh, hopefully that explains a little bit more to you guys that have been asking me many questions about how I trim my briskets. And so, hey, we just trimmed this brisket, right? So join me in the next video and we'll get it on the pit. Show you how we're going to smoke it up, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!